Well, hello, and welcome to our new series of readings for Advent. During the run-up to Christmas, people from our church and wider community will read an extract from this book called Advent with Evelyn Underhill. There'll be no introduction or words of explanation. It's simply an opportunity to hear and think about these words of wisdom as we get ready to celebrate the birth of Jesus and the presence of God with us today. Starting out. Everyone who is engaged on a great undertaking, depending on many factors for its success, knows how important it is to have a periodical stock-taking. Whether we're responsible for a business, an institution, a voyage, or an exploration, even for the well-being of a household, it is sometimes essential to call a halt, examine our stores and our equipment, be sure that all necessaries are there and in good order, and that we understand the way in which they should be used. It's no good to have tins without tin openers, bottles of which the contents have evaporated, labels written in an unknown language, or mysterious packages of which we do not know the use. Now the living out of the spiritual life, the inner life of the Christian, the secret correspondence of his soul with God, is from one point of view a great business. It was well called the business of all businesses by St. Bernard, for it is no mere addition to Christianity, but its very essence, the source of its vitality and power. From another point of view, it is a great journey, a bit-by-bit -bit progress over roads that are often difficult and in weather that is sometimes pretty bad, from this world to that which is to come. Whichever way we look at it, an intelligent and respectful attitude to our equipment, seeing that it is all there, accessible and in good condition, and making sure that we know the real use of each item, is essential to success. It's only too easy to be deluded by the modern craving for peace and immediate results, and press on without pausing to examine the quality and character of our supplies, or being sure that we know where we are going and possess the necessary maps. But this means all the disabling miseries of the unmarked route and unbalanced diet, and at last, perhaps, complete loss of bearings and consequent starvation of the soul. <laughs> 